Do you know why leading yourself is important for becoming a great leader? Well, you will not trust a chef who can't cook, right? Leading others is no different. After all, how can you lead others if you can lead yourself? Today we are talking about a big part of leadership, self-leadership. But what is that? And why does it matter so much for being a good leader? Let's find out. Taking control of your time is super important for getting stuff done. You got to make sure your schedule reflects what's more important to you, not just what other people want from you. A few years ago, I came across the analogy, the jar of life. Rocks, pebbles, and sand. Imagine that this jar represents the time we all have in a week. Now, the sand represents the email, the slack, the social media, the news, all the small tasks that fill up your time, but they may not add a lot of value to your life as a whole. And you see that the, the jar is already one third full. Now we have the pebbles, which are more important than the sun. Um, they are the people that ask for meetings, you need to help a colleague, you have the unexpected emergencies, um, the request from your boss, a lot of things that are going to be requested of you that again, they are not the big goals in your life, but they will use up your time. And now you see that there is little room for anything else. Next, we have the big rocks, which are your priorities, the big goals that you want to accomplish, your health, your family, and things that are really, really important to you. As you can see, we cannot make it fit. There is not enough time for everything that we want to accomplish and we end up sacrificing the things that are more important to us, our family, our rest, our health. And that is obviously not ideal. When I'm coaching or mentoring someone, they will usually complain that they don't have time for the things that are really important for them. And that makes total sense if you approach time management inefficiently. Let's do the same exercise, but we will reverse the order. I will start with the big rocks. Our family, my goals, my health, sleep, exercise, my team, and any big projects. As you can see, the big priorities are already in. And in this case, we make sure that all of them are inside the jar, inside our time, and we have allocated time to accomplish them. Now, I will add the pebbles. A request from my boss, meetings, unexpected emergencies. All these things are important. And as you can see, I can make them fit. They are all inside. Now that we allocated time for the really important stuff and the things we also care about, we can add the sun. Remember, that the sun is the social media, the news, um, the reading slack, all the things that we can do, but we can also ignore or delay. And you can see, we are finding time to do everything. It's a matter of how we do the priorities. Whoops. And if all the sun, there you go, everything fits. But even if the sun, we cannot make it fit, it will be all right, because those are the things we can live without. Taking a personality test can give you really useful insights into what you are good at and where you could use some improvements. Understanding yourself better helps to focus your effort on getting better at the things that matter most, while also making the most of your natural talents. This self-awareness is like a starting point for growing as a person and helps you make smart choices about how you want to develop grow. I did one test recently and it was an eye-opening experience. Now I would like to talk about a few things that will help you to achieve your big rocks. Defining where you want to be in the next 10 years is an important step. Whether it's leading a successful team, making a mark in your field or growing personally, having a clear goal is key. But having a goal is not enough. You need a plan. Break down your big goals into smaller steps and create a roadmap to reach them. It's important as you need to know where you're going and how you will get there. Your plan should also consider what might get in your way and how you will overcome these obstacles. Most importantly, success takes time and effort. You have to stay committed and keep working towards your goals 
even when things get tough. Moving on, taking care of yourself is very important, both for your body and your mind. That means making sure you stay healthy by exercising regularly, taking time to relax with meditation, and adopting good habits for your overall well-being. It's also important to keep learning new things, whether they are about your job or just stuff you find interesting. This helps you grow as a person and keeps your brain sharp. Getting help from a coach or a mentor can speed up your journey to becoming a better version of yourself. They have been where you are and learned a lot along the way, so they can offer you amazing advice and tips to help you progress faster. But working on all the things that we talk about is not possible if you can't control your emotions. And I made a video specifically about this topic. Thanks for watching. See you next week.